OK, so having looked at his life, let's have a look now at Calvin's writings. A few years ago, somebody um, rather rashly made the comment that Calvin is a man of one book, namely the Institutes, and that could hardly be further from the truth. Um, but certainly, the Institutes are his, his, or are his, his best known work, for um, obvious reasons, I suppose. And so we'll start with that. I mentioned already that he finished his first edition of it in 1535, and that came out the next year, 1536. Um, that was a pocketbook. It was um, 85,000 words, uh, roughly equivalent to the length uh, between Matthew and Ephesians, if you envisage that part of the New Testament, that sort of length. Uh, so genuinely a, a sort of pocketbook. And it went through five main editions. Um, with the hindsight of his experience in Geneva in 1539, he expanded it quite a bit. And then in 1543, uh, the third edition, which uh, drew upon his experience of his time in Strasbourg, uh, and that again was a significant development. And then a, 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 a less significant revision, but still an important one in 1550, until the final version came out in 1559. Uh, substantially longer, that's basically uh, 450,000 words, so that's equivalent to Genesis to Luke inclusive, so nearly as long as the Bible. So that's a substantial work. And the Institutes, that's what the, the work that he's, he's most often known by. But he also had a major task writing commentaries. And for him, these two um, were very clearly intended to complement one another. Uh, he explains in 1539 that uh, some people wrote commentaries, he's thinking of Busser especially, where they wrote lengthy doctrinal dis um, uh, discourses or sort of um, 